Most of path planning algorithms usually generate paths such as these, with sharp turns and rough edges, that will produce unnatural movements when applied to a game character, and in the case of robotics, this will cause a lot of problems, because the robot will have to slow down at each waypoint before moving towards the next one. In addition to this, these robots could be carrying delicate, dangerous, all precious items and executing these sharp turns may not be even feasible kinematically. Many interesting solutions to this problem have been implemented, such as cubic splines, Bezier curves, B splines, and many more techniques. So, our objective in this video is to write a small function in Python based on B spline technique that will smooth out our path in just 10 lines of code. However, before we begin, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. It's absolutely free and you can always change your mind. Now, that being said, let's begin. Hey guys, welcome back to your channel. So, as we said in the intro, we will smooth out a path using Python in only 10 lines of code. But before that, we will first set up a virtual simple environment for the purpose of testing our function. So let me just import the Pygame library. By the way, you can install it by using pip install pygame in the terminal. I already did that, so I'll directly go ahead and just initialize it, and name the window, and create a map to visualize the work. The size of this map is up to you, so I'll just set a size of 800 by 512 pixels. We will fill the map with a solid color, white in this case, and declare this variable running and assign it to true. Whenever we wish to close the simulation, we simply set it to false. <clears throat> so our program will be operating using this loop and in every iteration, we will check for events. So we loop through the events that happened since the last iteration like this. And if the event type is quit, that means we hit the red quit button in the window and the simulation will be finished by setting the boolean variable running to false. So, as we saw earlier, we create the waypoints using the mouse. So we will check if the mouse left button is down and we record the position of the mouse in a variable called pause by calling the method getPause of Pygame and then draw a circle providing as arguments our map, the RGB code of the color, which is black in this case. So we just put 0 in the 3 channels and the position of the circle. We finish by setting the radius and the width. We specify 0 for a filled circle. So outside the for loop we call this method display update to update the screen every time you make a change. Now we need to record the waypoints we created so we declare an empty list up here and we head down and we append the mouse position to the list like this. So we have now a path represented by a list of control points. All we have to do is to make it smooth. So we declare the function bspline that takes the waypoints as input. We declare an empty list x and y, and we loop through the waypoints separating their x and y coordinates and appending them to the x and y lists. Next is the time to create our bspline representation. So we import the class interpolate from scipy. And if you don't already have this library, you can install it using pip install scipy just like that. And we import also the numpy library like this. In the bspline function, we call the spl prep method from interpolate class that we just imported. I think it stands for spline preparation. This method needs only an argument of the x and y lists put together inside the list, and that's it. Of course, you can specify the order of the spline and the smoothness of the representation using the k and the s arguments, but we're going to use the default values which are 3 and 0, so no need to write these arguments. The output of this method is a tuple called tck, among many other outputs. But we only care about this specific output, tck, that contains the spline knots, its coefficients, and its degree. And these are just information that defines our smooth path. 
The rest of the arguments are outside of the scope of this tutorial. Now that we created our bspline function, we have to evaluate it in order to generate the waypoints of our smooth path. This is usually done using a parameter that ranges from 0 which represents the beginning of the path and 1 representing the end of the path. So how many values between 0 and 1 you want to take, that's up to you really. Let us just begin with the 100 values and see. So we'll use the linspace method to achieve this. Now you can take u and tck and feed them to splev, which stands for spline evaluation. And all you have left now is to return the smooth path to be rendered by the pygame loop we created down there. And as promised, with just 10 lines of code, we managed to create a path smoothing function. We still have to visualize it though, so we declare an empty list for storing the smooth path coordinates and we head down to the while loop. We add another condition for keystrokes. Else if the event was a key down, we, we check whether the key is the spacebar. If yes, then we just call the bspline function passing the initial path coordinates and then we take apart the smooth path x and y coordinates. Before we draw anything, we will fill the canvas with white color and we loop through the x and y coordinates after zipping them together and we draw each one of them as a small red circle. And finally, if you want, you can draw the original path by doing the same thing basically to the control points list. And we are finished. You now have the necessary knowledge for implementing this in any project you want. Game development, motion planning for robots, you name it. All you have to do now is to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and see you in another video with another idea. Stay safe and goodbye.